right, we're going to continue with the books, okay? Um, this one is the picture dictionary. We have two picture dictionaries, and I'm not going to talk about a whole lot in this, okay, because you're going to know what it's like by looking at this one. This one has a lot of, uh, we'd say, Christian words in it, and I know because people talk about separation of church and state, there is no way in the world they want this in with this. So therefore, I wouldn't even put them together. All right. But build your Spanish vocabulary through him, even if it takes a little ebonics. I am not an advocate of ebonics, believe me. But if it takes a little ebonics to get a word, I'll go. I'm an advocate <laughs> to use. Do whatever you have to do to get whatever you want and what you need. Okay? Now. This book is divided up into chapters, and it's Animal, Bird, and Fish, and Insect, Beauty and Barbershop, uh, The Body, Clothing, Colors, Numbers and Pronouns, Days of the Week, Months of the Year, and Seasons. It has family, farm, foods, the house, medicine, plants and nature, professions, the school, transportation, uh, and places, verbs, vocabulary, and it also, just, just vocabulary in general, and it has an irregular past participle, one act drama, which is very cute, a lot of folks say. Now, look at the animal, bird, and fish kingdom. This will help you remember your vocabulary. Look at this goose here. All right, now, it's going to be online on my website, www.rubyhamiltonmccray.com. If you go to this dictionary, scroll right underneath this dictionary, you would see a page with some excerpts of the different things that's here. But this one is a goose and it's a gun soul. I'm going to put the article with it, El Gun Soul, and let you know it's masculine, okay? Two boys decided that they wanted a goose for Thanksgiving, so they said to their father, we need the gun so we can shoot the goose. Gun so that's the name on it. Uh, connection there. All right, now the Spanish pronunciation would be in bold, and the English word that we want would be in italics. Look at the bear. A bear is oso, el oso, the bear. Mary is constantly pulling out costumes. She put on one, went into the kitchen, and growled at her mom. And her mom says, Oh, so you are a bear now. Okay, so we got that. Okay, now, since the book is about using the ebonics, we have a lion. And a lion is leon. El leon. Alrighty, so the lion. And it's ebonics and it says, Leon, this lion. He can't bite, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, leon. Alright, and I'm going to have to give you another ebonics one. A frog is a rana, la rana, and a spider is aranya, la rana. But if you would look at the word, you may not be able to pronounce the spider for sure. But if you read the caption, you will be. Run, her, rana is going to be in bold, and frog will be italics. Aranya will be and bold, and spider is an italic. So it says, I run with this frog till her tongue was hanging out, and I run you too with this spider if you mess with me. <laughs> run, I run ya. All righty. Now, that's uh, the end. Oh my goodness, you have so many uh, in this kingdom here. But now to the beauty and barbershop. La peluqueria. Peluqueria is the beauty shop. Feminine, la, la peluqueria. Where are you going? I need to pay peluqueria at the beauty shop. Peluqueria, say it faster, peluqueria. You got it, okay? Scissors, las tijeras. Tijeras or scissors? Las tijeras, okay? Now, Every since that they found scissors in their teeth, they've been tears. <laughs> I think you got that, huh? All right. Oh, hair. We go into the beauty shop. Hair is pelo. I 
need to pay low for this hair. Pelo. El pelo. So hair is masculine. The body. We have all of the different uh, body parts and how to pronounce them uh, with this dictionary. Pecho is body. El pecho. I'm sorry. Pecho is chest. El pecho is the chest. Alrighty. I need to pecho the MD for making my chest feel better. So we just have all kinds of things for the body and then we go on and on and on. And let's see here. Uh, we still on the body, okay? We're getting ready to go to the clothing. A tuxedo, when you look at the word, you may not be able to pronounce it, but it's a smoking. El is smoking. The brand new tuxedo done caught a fire. It's smoking. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Okay. So you have a clothing and you have a colors and numbers and pronouns in, in this section here. And, uh, oh my goodness. Well, we won't go into all of them, but that's what this book is all about. But numbers. Well, let's see here. Surely they didn't let the kid drive. Oh, no. One of the older children drove. Oh, no. Is one. Okay, who know is one. Okay, give her a good dose of this medicine two times a day. Dose, I hear them. Okay, dose. Okay, now so we have ordinal numbers, those were the cardinal numbers. We have ordinal numbers, and we have the family, we have the days of the week, the months of the year, and seasons. Um, okay. With the mnemonic effects, we have the family. <laughs> esposa. Esposa is a wife. That man loves his wife and don't want to expose her bad deeds. <laughs> so you have the family and you just go on, you have farm and so forth and on. Let's see here. It's just so many, 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 many things. Uh, we have food and probably past that already. But there's something here on page, I believe, 99, yes, ataud, ataud is a casket or a coffin or whatever, okay, and it says, a picture of a casket, ataud, and it's el ataud, okay, now, when Mr. Ood passed away, naturally he was placed in a coffin, Nobody knew that it was a talking coffin until it said, I tie down real good. You won't get away. I tie okay? I believe the last one that I might, well, that's good enough. Okay. It's just so many. Then you have your uh, glossary. It's English and Spanish and Spanish and English. And I will mention a little in this one. Uh, this one just was published in 216. All right. This one, uh, build your Spanish vocabulary through humor. Same thing if it takes a little ebonics. Uh, but like I said, it more or less has a lot of Christian words in it. Okay. And we'll say heavenly words or saintly words. Okay. Because uh, <laughs> I know Christianity is a religion, but this is a relationship we have. So anyway, the devil. Diablo is the devil. Okay, Mr. Diablo acts just like the devil. Now, I forgot to mention that wherever the stress is, it's going to be underlined. So the I is underlined. D-E-E, -E, capital D-E-E -E is D. His middle initial is I, and that's underlined. Blow, his last name is Blow, B-L-O-W. Diablo, okay, he acts just like the, the devil. All right. So you have all kinds of words in here. It says, don't satanize. Satan will be too happy. Satanize. That's okay. So it's just all kinds of words in this dictionary also. And uh, I know that these will help you remember the words because it's helped so many people remember. And I'm just so happy to be able to introduce these to you again. You can go to my website, rubyhamiltonmccray.com. And if you like these teachings and so forth and on, don't forget to make comments. 
and the subscribe so that you will be able to know when these teachings come out. Now, I'm in, my intention will be to post these two DVDs together, these vi uh, videos together, okay? Because it talks about the books. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe, tell your friends about it, and sh we'll share it, okay? Adios, y que Dios les bendiga a ustedes ricamente.